Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Divit and in today's video, I'll be giving you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how you can set up Google Tag Manager for your Shopify store. This will be a complete beginner-friendly tutorial and by the end of this video, you'll be able to link Google Tag Manager to your Shopify store so that you can set up all kinds of conversion tracking. So with that said, let's get right into it. Now, the very first thing we need to do is we need to head on over to Google Tag Manager. So that's tagmanager.google.com. For those of you that don't have a Tag Manager account, just go ahead and create one with your Gmail account. It's a very straightforward process. And once you do that, you should be directed to a page like this, or you should be directed to a page which takes you straight over here to create your new account. Now, the first thing we need to do is set up our account. And then within the account, we need to go ahead and put up our container. The container is basically your website, your app, your e-commerce store, whatever you want to go ahead and track. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and call the account test for Shopify. You can go ahead and call it whatever your company name is and then go ahead and choose your country. I'm located in Canada, so I'll just go ahead and put that in there. So once you have your account name and your country in place, you can go ahead and choose to share data if you want and then go ahead and give your container a name. So over here, you can just go ahead and put in your e-commerce store URL or your shop's name. I'll just go ahead and call this again test for my Shopify store. Okay, so once you have your container name and account name, which again, right now is just a test name for myself, you can go ahead and choose the platform, which is web in this case, and press the create option. So once you do that, you just have to go ahead and agree to their terms and conditions. Just go ahead and press the yes button. And then once you do that, you'll be directed over here. Now this right here is the main and most important part because this is how we install Google Tag Manager using this piece of code that they've provided us. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and paste this code as high in the head as possible. So we can see right here, that's what it says. And then we need to add a second code after that in the body section. All right, so I'll show you how to do this the easiest and fastest way. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and first just press the copy button to copy this first piece of code and then head on over to our Shopify dashboard. Now, once you're in your Shopify dashboard, go ahead and click the online store option. Once you do that, you will be directed to the themes page over here. And then in the themes page, we're going to go ahead and select the three dots right here. And we're going to go ahead and press the edit code option. Now, once we do that, we'll be directed to this page over here where we have all of the different code for our theme. We're going to go ahead and select the theme.liquid option over here. And we can see now we have a bunch of HTML code. Now, once we're over here, we can go ahead and add in our first piece of code, which is under the head tag which we can see right here is available to us. Okay, so this is the opening head tag. If you can't find it, you can just press the control F, type in head right here, and it will show you exactly where it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and actually put a space over here and then just paste in my Google Tag Manager code. So now again, within my head tag, I have this piece of code, which I needed. Now I can go back to my Google Tag Manager account and over here, paste the second piece of code, which I need to put over the opening body tag. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to my Shopify store Again, you can control F and you can just go ahead and put in the body tag like this to find it, or you can just scroll down and find it yourself. So I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down because I know where it is. It's on line number 315 or so, I think. So we can see right here, this is my body tag. So this is where the head tag closes, right? So 329. And this is where the body tag is around the line number 330. So over here, I'm just going to go ahead and put in my particular piece of code. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a space here and then just paste it in. So I've added the second piece of code right here. Once you've put in your two pieces of code, you can go ahead and press the save option over here so that it's saved onto your theme file directly. And now we can go back and actually go back to our Shopify's dashboard. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and actually test to see if this works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and view my store. And once I view my store, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my URL, copy it and go back to my Google Tag Manager, paste it in right here and press the test option. So we can see right here, I have the green checkbox, which basically says that my tag is installed properly and we're good to go. Now you can go ahead and test this again by pressing the X option and pressing preview right here. And when you do that, you'll be directed to this page where you can go ahead and just paste in your shop's URL. So this is my test shop, press the connect option. And it's now going to basically connect your store to Google Tag Manager. And right here, we can see it says tag assistant connected, which basically means your Google Tag Manager is properly installed on your Shopify store. If I go back over here to my tag manager, we can see it says connected as a confirmation and it says Google tags found. All right. So that's basically confirmation that your platforms are connected 
and you're good to go. So on that note, everybody, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then go ahead and press the like button and share it with your friends. If you're interested in more Shopify content like this, then check out these videos on my channel. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.